meaning, chooses me. Oh, me, the word choose. I may neither choose whom I would, nor refuse whom I dislike. Such is the will of a little daughter, curbed by the will of her dead father. Is it not hard, Nerissa, that I might neither choose one, nor refuse none? What's that? The friends of Morocco will be here tonight. I pray all of you, make sure to be seated, and make sure that your electronic devices are turned off. Thank you. <laughs> the Prince of Morocco comes here tonight. Oh. If he has the condition of a saint and the complexion of a devil, I would rather he should shrive me than revive me. This might be my complexion. The shadow of Memorial Club for this son, to whom I'm kind neighbor and near friend. Bring me the fairest creature not so born, and let us make incision for your love to prove whose blood is red is all mine. I tell you, lady, this aspect of mine has feared the valiant. By my love, I swear, the best regarded virgin of our clan has love it. I will not change this hue except to steal your thought, my gentle queen. In terms of choice, I am not solely led by nice direction of a maiden's eyes. Besides, the lottery of my destiny bars me <coughs> the right of voluntary choosing. But if my father had not scanted me, yourself, renowned prince, and stood as fair as any comer I have looked on yet for my affection. You would not be you. Therefore, I pray, lead me to the casket to try my fortune. You must take your chance and either not attempt to choose at all or swear before you choose. If you choose wrong, never to speak to lady afterwards in way of marriage. Therefore, be advised. No, we not. Come, bring me on to my chance. <sighs> Discover the several caskets, noble prince. Good fortune, then. To make me bless, or curse among men. Now make your choice. How shall I know if I choose the right? The one of them contains my picture, Prince. If you choose that, then I am yours with all. Some got direct my judgment. Let me see. I will serve the inscription. What says this redden casket? Who chooses me must give an hazard only hand. Must give. For what? Bullet? Hazard bullet? This casket threatens. Then, what says the silver with a virgin hue? <laughs> Who just me shall get as much as he deserve? Hmm. As much as I deserve. Why? That's the lady. <laughs> in birth I do deserve her, and in fortune, in graces, in qualities, qualities of breeding. <coughs> but more than this, in love I do deserve. What if I stray no further, but choose here? Let's see what's saying grave in gold. Who choose me shall gain what many men desire. What many men desire? Why, that's the lady. All the world desires her. From the four corners of the earth, they come to kiss the shrine, this breeding model saint. So here choose I and drive as I may. If my form lie there, then I am yours. Oh, hell. <laughs> oh, see A carry on death? <laughs> With whose empty eyes there were written scroll. I read it. Oh, that glitter is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Many a man his life has sold. But my outside to behold. Glide to too long that bold. Have you been as wise as bold? Young in limbs, in judgment old. Your answer had not been inscrolled. Fare you well, your suit is cold. Cold indeed, and labor lost. Doth fair I hit, and welcome frost. Portia, are you? I to do the heart, to take a tenuous Thus, Lujo's part. <laughs> <laughs> a gentle riddance. Draw the curtains, go. Let all of his complexion choose me so. The Prince of Aragon. 
Sun had taken his oath and comes to make his election presently? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there stand the caskets, noble prince. If you choose that wherein I am contained, straight shall our nuptial rites be solemnized. But if you fail, without more speech, my lord, you should be gone from hence immediately. I enjoy <coughs> by the oath to observe three things. First, Never to infer to anyone. If you fail to choose the right. Next, next. If I fail the right casket, immediately to leave you and be gone. Third, if I fail my choice, never, never in my life to obey in a way of marriage. To these injunctions, everyone doth swear that comes to hazard for my worthless self. And so have I addressed it. Fortunes to my heart's hope. Gold, silver, and base lead. Who just me must give and has it all we have? You, you should look fairer to ever give a hazard. What says the golden chest? Let me see. Ha! Who just me shall gain what many men desire? What many men desire, that many may be maintained by the full multitude that choose by show. I will not choose what many men desire. I will not jump with common spirit and link, link me with barbarous multitude. Why? Thou silver treasure house, tell me once more what title thou dost bear. Who choose me shall get as much as he deserves. And well said, too. Let them prince show to wear on this dignity. And here choose I. And here choose I. And instantly unlock my fortune here. Too long a pause for that which you find there. What's here? A portrait of blinking idiot present in your schedule. I read it. The seven fire seven times try this. Seven times try that judgment is that they never choose amiss. Some there be the shadow kiss, such chefs for the shadows please. There be fools alive I wish, silver or and so as this. Take what wife you will to bed, I will ever be your head. So be gone, your bed. Still more fool I show up here, by the time I linger here. With one fool said I came to do, but I go away with two. <laughs> Sweet love you, I'll keep my own. Patiently to bear my rust. <laughs> Thus has the candle singed the moth. Oh, these deliberate fools. When they do choose, they have the wisdom by their word to lose. Forget the rest now. A young Venetian, a scholar and a soldier. Bassanio, good love may it be. I pray you tarry. Pause a day or two before you hazard, for in choosing wrong I lose your company. Therefore forbear a while. There's something tells me, but it is not love, that I would not yet lose you. But, but lest you should not understand me well, I could teach you how to choose right. But I am then forsworn, so may you miss me. But if you do, you'll make me wish a sin that I am forsworn. But shrew your eyes, they have all looked me and divided me. One half of me is yours, the other half yours. My own, I would say, but if mine, then yours, and so all yours. Oh, these naughty times put spars between the owners and their rights. And so, though yours, not yours, prove it so, let fortune go to hell for it, not I. I speak too long. 
But tis to peace the time, to eke it and draw it out in length, to stray you from election. <coughs> Let me choose for as I am. I leave upon the rack. Upon the rack, Bassanio? Then confess what treason there is mingled with your love. None but that ugly treason with trust, which makes me fear the enjoying of my love. There may be as we aim and life between snow, <coughs> snow and fire as treason and my love. Aye, but I fear you speak upon the rack where men and bosom do speak anything. Promise me life, and I'll confess the truth. Well then, confess and live. Confess and love. Tell me the very song of, song of my confession. Oh, happy torment, when my torture does teach me the answer for deliverance. <laughs> but let me to choose, let me to my fortune and the caskets. Away then. I am locked in, one of them. If you do love me, you will find me out. Go, Hercules, live thou, I live. With much, much more dismay I view the fight than thou that makest the fray. Let music sound while he doth make his choice. <clears throat> Tell me where is fancy bred? In the heart or in the head? How begot our nourish ed? Tis engendered in the eyes. With gazing fed the fancy dies. In the cradle where it lies. Let a soaring fancy's knell I'll begin. Ding dong bell. <laughs> <laughs> So, so may the so may, so may the elders show least themselves. The world is still deceived with ornament. In love, what please so tame and corrupt? What's being seasoned with gracious voice obscures the show of evil. Therefore. Thou gaudy gold, hard foot burn my dust. I will none of thee, nor none of thee. Thou pale and grudge between man and man. But thou, thou mere lad, leather, leather than threatness, than those out, those promise out. Thou paleness moves me more than eloquence. So here choose I. Joy, be the consequence. How all the other passions flee to air as doubtful thoughts and fresh embrace of despair, shuddering fear and green-eyed jealousy. O oh, love, be moderate, allay thy ecstasy. In measure reign thy joy. Scant the success, I feel too much thy blessing. Make it less, for fear I surfeit. What find the deal? Oh, fair portions contemplate. <laughs> what then he got? Had it come so near creation, move these eyes. Here is the continent and summary of my fortune. You that choose not by the view, chance as fair and choose as true. Since this fortune is far to you, be content and signal you. If you be well pleased with this, and hold your fortune for your bliss, turn your way to her ladies and claim her with a loving kiss. O oh, gentle scroll, fair lady, by your leave, I came by love and come to give and receive. But as as the fool, I'm the fool until you're confirmed, signed, and ratified by you. You see me, Lord Bassanio, where I stand, such as I am, though for myself alone I would not be ambitious in my wish to wish myself much better. Yet for you I would be troubled twenty times myself, a thousand times more fair, ten thousand times more rich, that only to stand high in your account I might in virtue, beauties, livings, friends, exceed account. But the full sum of me is sum of something which determined gross is an unlessened girl, unschooled, unpractised. Happy in this, she's not yet so old, but she may learn. 
Happier than this, she is not bred so dull, but she can learn. Happiest of all is that her gentle spirit commits itself to yours, to be directed as from her lord, her governor, her king. Myself and what is mine own to you and yours is now converted. But now I was the lord of this fair mansion, master of my servants, queen or myself. And even now, but now, this house, these servants, and the same as myself are yours, my lord. I give them with this ring, which when you part from, lose or give away. Let it be my vantage to exclaim on you. You have brought me for four words, madam. Only when my blood speaks to me in my veins. But, and there is some such confusion of powers. But as, as some oration fairly spoke by the beloved prince, there does appear among the police buzzing multitude. Where, where is all, every something being blended together, turned to a world of nothing, set of joy, expressed and not expressed. But when this ring parts from this finger, then parts life from hands. Oh, then we both say, but Samuel's dead. <laughs> again when the hurly burly's done when the battle's lost and won there to meet with Macbeth fair is fall and fall is fair the weird sisters hand in hand posters of the sea and land dust to go about about Thrice to thine and thrice to mine, and thrice again to make up nine. Peace, the charms are done. So foul and fair a day I have not seen. How far is called the forest? What are these? Speak if you can. What are you? All hail, Macbeth. Hail to the thane of glams. All hail, Macbeth. Hail to thee, Dane of Cordor. All hail, Macbeth, that shalt be king hereafter. Good sir, why do you start and seem to fear things that do sound so fair? To me you speak not. If you can look into the seeds of time and say which grain will grow and which will not, speak then to me. Hail! 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 Lesser than Macbeth, but greater. Not so happy, yet much happier. Thou shall get kings, though thou be none. So all hail Macbeth and Banquo! Banquo and Macbeth will hail! Stay in perfect speakers. They who call the lips. A properest gentleman then to be king. Stands not within the prospect of belief, no more than to be called on. Say from whence you owe this strange intelligence, or why upon this blasted heat you stop away with such prophetic greeting. Speak, I charge you! The earth has bubbles as the water has, and these are the them. Whether they vanished into the air, the was in corporal mountain those breaths into the wind, would they have stayed? Were such things here as we do speak about, or have you eaten on the same root that takes the reason prisoner? Your children shall be kings. <laughs> you shall be king. And they not call the two and to not so. To the self same tune and words. Who's there? We are sent from our royal master thanks. <coughs> And for an earnest of a greater honour, he bade me, from him called the Thane of Cordor, hails the most worthy Thane, for this is time. What? Can the devil speak true? The Thane of Cordor lives. Why the dress being borrowed robes? The one who was the Thane lives yet, but under heavy judgment bears his life, which he deserves to lose. Treason capital, confessed and proved, have overthrown him. Blams, the Thane of Cordor, the greatest is behind. Thanks for your pains. Two 
truths are told cannot be ill, cannot be good. It's ill. Why have they given me earnest of success commencing in a truth? If good, why do I yield to that suggestion whose horrid image does not fix my hair, make my seat hard, knocking my ribs against the use of my nature? Present fears are worse than horrible imaginings. Come what come may, time and the hour runs to the roughest day. me in the day of success, while I stood wrapped in the wonder of it, came missives from the king, who all hailed me Thane of Cordor, by which title before these weird sisters saluted me and referred me to the coming on of time with hail, king that shalt be. This have I thought good to deliver thee, my dearest partner of greatness. Glams thou art, and cordial, and shalt be what thou art promised. Yet do I fear thy nature. It is too full of the milk of human kindness to catch the nearest way. Thou wouldst be great, art not without ambition, but without the illness should attend it. And that which rather thou dost fear to do than wish it should be undone. Hie thee hither, that I may pour my spirits in thine ear and chastise with the valor of my tongue all that impedes thee from the golden round, which fate and metaphysical aid Thus seem to have thee crowned with all. What is your tidings? The king comes here tonight. Thou art mad to say it. Is not thy master with him? So please you, it is true. Our thing is coming. <sighs> Give him tending. He brings great news. The raven himself is hoarse. That crows the fatal entrance of Duncan. Under my battlements. Come, you spirits that tend on mortal thoughts, unsex me here and fill me from the crown to the toe, top full of Thara's cruelty. Make thick my blood to remorse that no compunctious visitings of nature shake my fell purpose. Come to my woman's breasts and take my milk for go, you murdering ministers. <sighs> Come, thick night, and pour thee in the dunnest smoke of hell, that my keen life, seeing off the wounded makes, to cry home. Great glams, worthy Cordor, greater than both by the all hail hereafter. My dearest love, Duncan comes here tonight. And when goes hence? Tomorrow, as I suppose. Oh, never shall son that moral see. To beguile the time, look like the time. They're welcome in your eyes. Look like the innocent flower, but be the serpent under it. We will speak further. Only look up clear. Leave all the rest to me. If it were done when it's done, then to it were done quickly. He is here in double trust. First, as I'm his kinsman and subject, strong both against the deed, then, as his host, who should against his murder shut the door not fear the knife myself, 
I had no spur to prick those eyes on my intent, but only vaulting ambition which oblices itself and falls on the other. How now? What news? He has almost stopped. Why have you left the chamber? Hardly out of me. No, you're not. He has. We will proceed no farther in this business. He had honor me of late, and above golden opinions from all sorts of people, which will be won now in the newest gloss, not cast aside so soon. Uh, was the hope drunk wherein you dressed yourself? Had it slept since? From this time, such I account thy love. Art thou afeard to be the same in thine own act and valor as thou art in desire? Pre thee, peace, I dared all that may become a man. Who dares more is none. What beast was it then that made you break this enterprise to me? When you durst do it, then you were a man. And to be more than what you were, you would be so much more the man. I have given suck and know how tender it is to love the babe that milks me. I would have plucked my nipple from his boneless gums and dashed the brains out. Had I saw one as you have done to this? If we should fail? We fail? But screw your courage to the sticking place and will not fail. What cannot you and I perform upon the unguarded Duncan? Hmm? What not put upon his spongy officers who shall bear the guilt of our great quell? I'm settled. And bend up each corporal agent to this terrible feat. Away, and mock the time of fair show. False face must hide the false heart of both men. Thy blade and dodge on gods of blood? This was not so before. There is no such thing. It is a bloody business which informs dust to mine eyes. Whilst I threat, he lives. Worse, the heat of the deeds too cold of breath gives. I go, and it is done. The bell invites me. Hear it not, Duncan, for it is a knell which summons thee to heaven. made them drunk, hath made me bold. What hath quenched them, hath given me fire. Hark! Peace! It was the owl that shrieked. Alack, I am afraid they have waked, and tis not done. The attempt, and not the deed, confounds us. My husband, The deed. Didst thou not hear a noise? I heard the owl scream and the crickets cry. Did not you speak? When? Now. As it descended. I. Hark! Who lies in the second chamber? Don't, don't know, Bane. This is a sorry sight. A foolish thought to say a sorry sight. These deeds must not be thought after these ways, so it will make us mad. Me thought I heard a voice cry. Sleep no more. Macbeth does murder sleep. The innocent sleep. Sleep then least of the rabble sleep or care. The death of each day's life's so labor spot. Forms of her mind's great nature's second course to nourish her. It lies feast. What do you mean? And still it cries sleep no more to all the house. Glams had murdered sleep, and therefore Cordo shall sleep no more. Macbeth shall sleep no more. Go. It's a water. And wash this filthy witness from this hand. Why did you carry this dagger from the place? It must lie there. Go, carry it. I, I'll go no more. I'm afraid to think what I've done. Look on again, I dare not. Infirm of purpose. Give me the dagger. If he do bleed, 
I'll kill the faces of the grooms with all, for it must seem their guilt. Where's this knocking? What hands are these? <laughs> they pluck out my eyes. Will all great Neptune's surge and wash this blood clean from my hand? My hands are of your color, but I shame to wear hearts of white. Retire we to our chamber, a little water clears us of this deed. To know my deed, therefore best not know myself. Wait, Duncan, with thy knocking, I would thou cursed. Then. Is it dispatched? My lord, his throat is cut. That all I did for him. Flea and escaped. Then comes my fit again. I had else been perfect. But now I'm cabined, cribbed, confined and bound into saucy doffs and fists. Get thee gone. My royal lord, you do not give the cheer. Sweet remembrance of Which of you have done this? What, my good lord? Thou can't say I did it. Never shake that gory locks at me. Right, gentlemen, he highness is not well. Sit, worthy friends. My lord is often thus. He will again be well. Pray you, keep seat. Are you a man? I am a bold one. Did there look on that which I uphold the devil? Oh, proper stuff, shame itself. Why do you make such faces? When all's done, you look but on a stool. Pretty, see there, behold, look, look. How oh, say what, what care I? If you can't nod, speak to. It's quite unmanned in folly. If I stand here, I saw him. Fie for shame. Times have been, but when the brains are out, the man would die. And there. An end. But now, they rise again with twenty mortal murders on their crowns when push us from our stools. Avant! Quit my sight! Let thou hide thee! Thy, thy bones are marrowless, thy blood is cold. Thou hast no speculation in those eyes which thou dost glare with. What man dare I dare? Hence, horrible shadow! Unreal mockery, hence! So, being gone, I am a man again. Pray you, sit still. You have displaced the mirth, broke the good meeting with most admired disorder. I pray you keep not. I pray you, don't say anything. My, my lord grows worse and worse. At once. Good night. Go at once. To that blood, they say, blood will have them. Augurs and other still relations have by never pies and roofs and shops brought forth the secret smell of blood. You lack the season of all nature. Sleep. Mute, finds the ones to hatch big wine. 
Harp your cries, tis time, tis time. Round about the cauldron go, in the poison and trust throw. Toe under coastal, dates and nights have thirty one. Sleeping venom, sleeping got. Boil thou first in the charmed pot. Double, double, toil and trouble, fire burn and cauldron bubble. All well done, I command your pains, and everyone shall stand the gates. And now about the cauldron say, lie bells and berries in the ring, enchanting all that you put in. By the pricking of my tongue, something wicked this way comes, open locks, whoever knocks. How now, you secret, black and midnight hat, what if you do? A demon of a name. I conjure you, how well you come to know it. Answer me, even to destruction's sake. Answer me to what I ask you. Speak, do mine. Will answer. Come, come high and low, thy southern office deathly show. Tell me thou art no power. Macbeth, 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 beware Macduff, beware the state of fight, dismiss me enough. One word more. Macbeth, Macbeth, Macbeth. Be bloody blow and resolute, lack to scorn the power of man, for none of woman more shall harm the bed. Then live, Macduff, what need I fear thee? Yet I'll make a sure and settled sure, thou shalt not live. Be like a metal proud and take no care who takes who frets or who conspires are. Macbeth shall never vanquish me until great Burnham Wood to high sentinel hill shall come against him. That will never be. Who can impress the thorns, bid the tree unfix this earth and root? Sweet Bodeman. Come, sisters, cheer me up the sprites, and show the best of our delights. I'll charm the air to give a sound while you perform your antic ground, that this great king may kindly say, our duty stood as well can pay. Where are they? Gone? Let this pernicious hour stand here a curse in the calendar. Come in without there. My lord, Macduff is fled to England. Fled to England? Aye, my good lord. Time thou anticipatest my greatest exploits. From this moment, the very first things of my heart shall be the first things of my hand to crown my thought with acts. Be thought. It's done! Bleed, bleed for country. Great tyranny, lay thou the basis sure. For goodness to not chuck thee if they go their wrongs. The title is a fear. Fair do well will mark him. See who comes here. My other gentle cousin, welcome hither. Good God, the times prove the means that makes us strangers. Sir, amen. Send Scotland where it did. Alice, poor country, it cannot be called our mother, but our grave, with sights and groans and shapes that rend the air, a maid, not marked. What's the newest grief? Let not your ears despise my tongue forever, which shall possess them with the heaviest sound that ever yet they heard. Madame. Your cows will be surprised. Your wife, babes, are savagely slaughtered. My children, too. Your wife, children, servants, all that could be found. He has no child. All my pretty ones, did you say all? Oh, hell, Kylo! What? All my pretty chickens and their dam at one fell swoop. Be this the western of her sword. Let grief convert to anger. Blunt not the heart, enrage it. Oh, gentle heavens, front to front, bring this fire and of Scotland and myself, with him my sword life set him. Come, go we to the king, our power is ready. Hell is 
Mac. Fie, my lord, fie! A soldier and the feared. What need we fear? Who knows it when none can call our power to account? <laughs> Yet, who would have thought the old man have had so much blood in him? The Thane of Fife had a wife. Where is she now? Will these hands never be clean? No more of that, my lord. No more of that. You mar all the starting. Here is a smell of blood still. All the perfumes in Arabia will not sweeten this little hand. Oh. Oh. Reports. Let them fly off. So burn and wood we move to Dunsinan. I cannot pay with fear. What's a boy? Malcolm. Was he not born of woman? The spirits that no mortal consequences have pronounced me thus fear not, Macbeth. No man that's born of woman shall e'er have power upon thee. Then fly, false saints, and mingle with the English epicure. The mind I sway by, the heart I bear. Shall never set with doubt, nor shake with fear. Satan, what news? All is confirmed, my lord. I'll fight, both on my flesh and bones be hacked. Give me my armor. Tis not needed yet. I'll put it on. Send out more horses. Scur the countries round. Hang those out of fear. Give me my armor. Hereafter, there would have been time for such a word tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow, crease in this petty paint from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time and all our yesterdays have lighted. Forced the weight of dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. Life's but a walking. 
wicked shadow that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then it's how no more. It is a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury signifying nothing. Why should I play the Roman fool and die on my own sword? Why did I see life the gashes to bet upon them? Turn, turn! Of all men else, I have avoided thee. But get thee back! My soul is too much charred with blood of thine already. I have no words. My voice is in my sword. Thou bloody villain, then terms can give thee out. Thou losest labor. I bear a charmed life which must not yield to one of woman's poor. Despair thy charm. Make duff for swimmer's mother's womb, untimely ripped. I curse it be the tongue that tells me so, for it had cowed my better part of men. And be these juggling fiends no more believe that palter with us in a double sense. They keep the word of promise to our ears and break it to our hope. I will not fight with thee. Then yield thee, coward, and live to be the showing gaze of the time. We'll have thee as our rarest monster czar, painted out of gold and under red. Here may you see the tyrant. I will not yield to kiss the ground before young Michael's feet and to be baited by the rabble's curse. The burning word will live to dance in it. And thou, a post being of no woman born, yet I will try the last before my body. I throw my warlike shield. Lay on Macduff, and damp be him that first cried, hold. Enough!